for Thursday. Um, I've got a little bit of a different idea this week, uh, just because it's Thanksgiving. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving out there, first of all. Um, but because it's Thanksgiving, we see a bunch of articles about you know foods we shouldn't be eating because they're not healthy, and some healthier alternatives to the foods we normally eat on Thanksgiving. So I thought I'd jazz it up a little bit with today's Hit and Throw Thursday and give you guys a drill I see all the time in high school practices, youth practices. I see it all the time that I just hate. And then give you guys a, maybe a healthier, better alternative to, uh, to help guys get better. Um, so the first thing you'll see in almost every high school or youth practice is the whole the wrist flip, right? You see guys glove underneath the elbow and they're just trying to flip the wrist, right? So what we see is in every single high level thrower, and what I mean by high level is guys who throw 95 plus, and heck even 90 plus, you'll never see this action anywhere in the throwing motion. You'll never see guys get here and then just focus on flicking the wrist to get 95 miles an hour. It's just not how it works. So why should we practice doing that? Um, so my healthier alternative instead of wrist flicks is we're gonna start in the same position, but instead of pronating with the palm of my hand facing my partner, I'm gonna supinate so the palm faces my hand. I'm gonna lift my elbow all the way up as high as I can, keeping my forearm in line with the elbow and staying vertical. Lift up, and then we're gonna rotate back as far as we can and really load our shoulder blade, get our elbow back in line, you can see when I get to that position, my forearm doesn't change. I don't get flat. I don't get internally rotated. I stay neutral. Elbow right about 90 degrees, maybe slightly inside, and I make sure I get my shoulders at least in line of my target, if not even more counter-rotated. And then from there, I'm just going to throw. All right, and the reason we don't really worry about wrist flicks is not only do high-level throwers not do this, but the reason they don't is because it just doesn't work. And it doesn't work, and it doesn't help keep your arms safe. So there were numerous studies done on cadavers, you know, dead bodies, and they tested the UCL, the Tommy John ligament in the elbow, and they found that the average fastball, the amount of stress it puts on the elbow, tears the UCL on a cadaver. So what keeps the UCL from tearing every single time anybody throws a baseball? The reason being is because the muscles in the forearm and around the elbow also contract and take some of that force off the ligament. If all we're working on is flipping the wrist, we're not engaging as many forearm muscles as we can, and we're not allowing our arm to slow down and unwind the proper way by pronating through release and having the release that we should. What happens is now the UCO has to pick up that slack. All right, but if we can learn how to pronate through, have the proper release, and we're not so worried about just flipping it, we can slow our arm down, we can save the stress on our elbow and in our shoulder. That's it for Hit and Throw Thursday. Hope you guys like it. Uh, if you want more content, check us out at www.trantprime.com.